Luke, you're you're a young guy, but man, when I got in the business at your age, they always told us about copper, a big time leading indicator. When copper started to go higher, that meant stuff was on the move, meaning it's in all the washers and dryers people buy. It's a part of what we use to wire our houses with. And if copper was in high demand, the economy was moving in the right direction. But now it seems like there's some other things at play, right? So it's even maybe even more of an indicator, I think, than it was before uh, because of the AI infrastructure build out. So we talk about utilities not being so boring anymore, a little bit more uh, sexy now because of the data centers. Well, copper is the same exact way. I think it's the stats and numbers say that for every megawatt of pa power that these uh, data centers uh, generate, you need four to six tons of copper. So uh, each each data center basically is projecting to be between 15 to 30 tons of copper needed. And I think it's like $11,000 per ton. So, I mean, these are like $300,000, $400,000 worth of copper every time a new small data center basically opens up. So when you have the Apples, Amazons, Googles, Metas, uh, all these big tech names investing hundreds of billions of dollars, basically trillions, and I'm not kidding, trillions of dollars worth of uh, money over the next decade into these data centers and AI spend. Copper's obviously going to benefit from that. So I think uh, we are going through somewhat of a commodity super cycle, whether it's gold, silver, copper, or other kind of commodities out there that are benefiting from this AI kind of trade. I don't. I think this is going to continue. 